In the construction of non-residential buildings, the term project delivery is used to describe the contractual relationships between the owner, the architect and or engineer, the contractor or contractors, and the management services utilized to design and construct a project. In other words, project delivery describes the method by which a project is moved from concept to a completed facility. While there are several delivery methods and several variations to those methods, we have chosen to address these four widely accepted project delivery methods. Design bid build, design build, construction management, and integrated project delivery. In this video, we will discuss the latter three. Check out our other video on this topic, enter to the design bid build process, and where doors and door hardware fit in the process, for an overview for that traditional and popular approach to project delivery. Please keep in mind this short video is intended as a simplified introduction to this topic for individuals new to the construction industry. Organizations such as CSI, the Construction Specifications Institute, AIA, the American Institute of Architects, and AGC of America, the Associated General Contractors of America, offer a much more thorough, in-depth, and authoritative discussion of this topic. Let's start with the design-build method. Unlike the design-bid-build delivery method for which there are three primary players, the owner, the architect, and the general contractor, in the design-build method there are just two primary players, the owner and the design-build firm. The owner contracts with a single entity for the complete design and construction of a project. The process begins when the owner prepares a detailed project description that includes such requirements as the scope of work, schedule, and budget. This project description is then used by the owner and the design-build firm to negotiate their contract for both the design and construction of the new facility. Often when owners choose the design-build method of project delivery, it is because the owner prefers to work with a single source that will be responsible for the entire process. Typically, owners will choose a design-build firm with experience in the particular type of building to be constructed. This specialized expertise is another common reason why owners choose this delivery method. Usually, the design-build firm has an architectural and engineering team on staff to design the building. If not, the design-build firm secures the design services, not the owner. Similarly, the design-build firm may subcontract out some of the construction work. Regardless, the owner's contract is typically only with the design-build firm. Again, it is this single-source approach that is appealing to many owners. The design-build firm is responsible for the documentation and drawings necessary to construct the building. The relationship between the architect and owner is different in design-build contracts than in other delivery methods. There is no contractual relationship between the architect and the owner. And, while the firm may choose to use the bid process to secure building materials, for some construction projects the purchase of building materials may be negotiated through the relationships the design-build firm or the owner have with suppliers. Because the design-build firm is responsible for the entire process, this can result in some time savings, as some of the design work can overlap with some of the construction process. This is another reason why some owners choose the design-build project delivery method. The design-build method of project delivery can be used for any type of building project. It is more commonly used for the construction of offices, warehouses, apartments, hospitals, and other such spaces where the specialized construction expertise of the design-build firm is advantageous for the owner. Now let's look at another method of project delivery, construction management. Construction management is the process of professional management applied to a construction project from conception to completion for the purpose of controlling project time, cost, and scope. There are two primary variations of construction management. Construction manager as agent or advisor, and construction manager as contractor. The latter is often referred to as construction management at risk because the construction manager is responsible for the completed project and bears the financial risk in the same manner as the contractor. When an owner chooses the construction management method, let's use the abbreviation CM, there are either three or four primary entities. One, the owner. Two, the architectural firm who is contracted by the owner. Three, the CM firm, also in a contract with the owner, and if the latter is not also serving as the general contractor, for the general contractor. When the CM method is used, the design documentation and bidding processes are similar to those seen in the design bid build method. The CM firm provides the oversight over all of these processes for the owner. 
Why do owners sometimes choose to enlist a construction management firm? This method is most often implemented on projects with complex schedules or budgets, projects that require extensive coordination between disciplines, and projects where the owner has limited expertise with regard to design and construction. Also, when owners have multiple building projects in the works, hiring a CM firm to coordinate and supervise those projects can be an efficient and effective way to manage the complexity and demands associated with coordinating and overseeing all phases of the construction projects. Some owners also prefer using a CM firm so that the architectural firm can focus on the design elements and issues, leaving the CM firm to handle issues that arise during construction. By the way, the CM approach to project delivery can be used for any type of building project. And finally, let's touch on yet another method of project delivery, the Integrated Project Delivery Method, or IPD. The Integrated Project Delivery Method was born out of a desire to reduce the problems that can arise in the more traditional delivery methods. Problems such as cost overruns, blown schedules, construction wastes and errors. And, as project delivery methods have developed, the roles and responsibilities between design and construction players have also changed. The IPD method typically includes the same players found in the traditional approach, the owner, the architect, and the general contractor. However, in the integrated project delivery method, these players enter into a contractual arrangement that aligns the business interests of all of these parties, driving collaboration throughout the entire design and building process. In their joint Primer on Project Delivery, developed by the American Institute of Architects and the Associated General Contractors of America, they describe IPD as a project delivery method that embodies these contractual principles. Early involvement of key participants key participants bound together as equals, shared financial risk and reward based on project outcome, liability waivers between key participants, fiscal transparency between key participants, jointly developed project target criteria, collaborative decision making. For owners who choose the IPD method, there is not one simple description or one roadmap on how to employ this method as IPD is still evolving and by its nature, allows for customized contract arrangements. Organizations already cited in this video do have guides and information for owners, architects, and contractors on how to use an integrated project delivery approach. Whew. If you've made it to the end of this video, and you've watched our other video on the intro to the design bid build process, congratulations! Project delivery is at the heart of the construction process, and we commend you for taking the time to learn about these four methods. We hope you will find this knowledge helpful in whatever role you play in the building industry. To watch more videos, visit our training page at www.allegion.com us.